Uh, hi, Bobby. It's James from Jedi News here. What's up, man? How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Good. Doing well. I like your spaceship. Is that the hotel? That is, right? It was. Yes, it was. Uh, it was. So we just can't get rid of you. But that's a good thing. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's a really, really positive thing. We've <laughs> had you, obviously, in Resistance, then the Bad Batch, Visions, and now Lego like, Star Wars Rebuild the Galaxy. Yeah. So did you know, coming into this particular uh, series, how iconic Jedi Bob is in the world of Lego Star Wars? And did that have any impact on the voice that you chose for the character? Uh, it did definitely. I did. I was. This was in the room when I got the phone call. My, my awesome. Uh, when I got the phone call, and I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Uh, I had worked with Dan and Benji a little bit beforehand, so I knew them, and I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. It makes absolutely no sense to me. So much so that I forgot the second part of your question. Well, it's just. It's just. Um, <laughs> so. So it was. Did you have any idea how iconic Jedi Bob was? Oh, yes, yes. And, oh, and, and the voice. Yeah, yes. The voice. It, it definitely did. I think I tried to do what I would do as a Jedi. Like, I just did what I thought being cast as a Jedi, which is like, I'm going to try and sound like Obi-Wan or Qui-Gon. But the reality is I'm a mess. And I just <laughs> and kind of then threw in a lot of, of Bobby in there. Brilliant. Thank you. Alex, your question. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Alex from Star Wars Explained. Hi. I like trying to guess who's going to be who. <laughs> uh, as James pointed out, this is far from your first Star Wars character. So when the galaxy gets remixed, uh, what do you think happened to Orca or Cecil Slack or Geezer, Geezer or all of them? Uh, could we get like an all Bobby Moynihan episode eventually? Um, like a clumps, like a nutty professor <laughs> style movie. Uh, yes, I hope that is that is that is the dream. I think that's Lucasfilm's number one priority. Um, <laughs> um, I I love this idea. I think it could happen. And also, the Lego Star Wars universe is the place to do it. I wish now that I had asked them just to put all my characters like talking at a little table in the cantina or the marina uh, or something. That would have been that would have been great. Awesome. Art, your question? Hey, Bobby. Art Eddie here for Art of Fatherhood. Uh, I had a chance to speak with you about fatherhood before, so I'm going to ask you another fatherhood question. A lot of great themes in uh, Rebuild the Galaxy, and is there something that you know you kind of use as Jedi Bob's character that you might use in real life as a dad in terms of maybe guiding or helping out uh, the main characters? Um, oh, God, this is going to get too real. It's something that I really do. It's something that Jedi Bob does, which is like he talks to people like they're stupid and they can't understand that they've done this, how they could have been so insane to do this thing. And I realize that I do that all the time and I can't do that to my children. I try to be very kind to them. They're like, dad, I did this insane thing. And I'm just like, that's, it happens. I did those things too. And I have to remind myself not to go full Danny Glover and be like, I'm getting too old for this. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> awesome thank you sir thank you man i love your room sky talkers your question hi bobby it's charlotte from sky talkers um i was so great to talk with you today thank you so much um nice we were wondering you're such a star wars fan and it is so awesome to see you in all these different roles what draws you to star wars thematically and what keeps you coming back um i think for me personally, I just, I love a universe to get lost in that has a great deal of minutia. I like, you know, it's, it's a wonderful place to escape into with a lot of very easy archetypes to understand. And uh, it's, it's fun. And I also love the idea of that fan community of like, there's this thing that doesn't exist that we all care about a great deal and will fight you over um <laughs> there, there, there's something to that there's something to the uh the the love and the importance that is put into uh, a galaxy that doesn't exist that awesome. i enjoy it's also a little crazy probably too <laughs> ethan Kerwin, you guys are up hi this is Kerwin and keith of us on galaxy how are you buddy what's up how are you all right good how would you how would you describe your character at i bob Jedi Bob is not the best Jedi. He uh, and he doesn't necessarily need to be. <laughs> uh, he's a he's terrible at uh, at at lightsaber work, and he's well aware of it. He knows he needs to get better. Uh, 
he he just wants to save the galaxy and do good. He, I, I, but I also think he he he's there. There's a little part of him that uh, doesn't believe him in, in himself enough when it when it should. And me, I think he learns that through the other characters here. Brian, a good question. dad, by the way. You look like a good dad. I appreciate that. He Thank is. you. He's a great. Dad. Oh, see, that's the best. That's the best. Awesome. Brian, go ahead. Okay, this is uh, Brian from Full of Sith. Um, <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So I told you on Twitter earlier, I think it's about time we see you in live action. Uh, oh, that, that, thank you very much. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, yes, I, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm truly just glad you enjoyed it. You seem like a fan. And it, I, I, your tweet perfectly encapsulated what I would love people to feel about this experience, including me being in live action Star Wars. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask, I, I, I think, uh, I feel like I interviewed you uh, at a round table like this for Resistance way back when you were just starting into Star Wars and you were a huge fan then. I, re uh, I remember that day. I remember doing, I was so excited. And uh, you're, you're doing Star Wars still. You've done, like, like Alex said, you've done Cecil Slack and, and Geezer and, and Orca. And, and like I said, you were a big Star Wars fan leading up to all of that. How has your relationship to Star Wars changed now uh, after all these years of being a part of it? Uh, you know, before last time we talked, you, you, you were just stepping into it, but now you're a veteran now. Yeah, it's, it's good. I feel very good. I feel very thankful. I feel very, uh, I feel a lot of gratitude. I, I can't believe that I have had some nights. Like, there was a night recently where I stayed up with my kids and built my Lego Jedi Starfighter. And that's something I will never, ever, ever forget. Or I called Ben and Danji, uh, Ben and Danji, Dan and Benji. <laughs> Uh, uh, and told them like, thank you. you, you made me a Jedi. And I don't know how to explain this to you that how much this means to me. <laughs> and uh, it's great. I had this in my room when I got the call, this was like that I was doing it. Like I had this, like, I, 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 I can't believe it. I definitely spent way too much money on Legos already. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's an honor. I, I can't believe it. Dan, your question. Bobby, Dan Zare from Coffee with Kenobi. Hello. Good to see you, man. Uh, I, uh, my son knew I was going to talk to you today, and he said, Jedi Bob is the most famous non-Star Wars Star Wars character ever. So how about that for a legacy? Uh, I, I agree, and that's the best. Yeah, there, there's no better part to get in Star Wars, I don't think. I'm, I, that's a lie. I, I want to play Jabba or something like that one day. Well, I pre the, the performance was great, and you're, you're a blast. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. It was the best. I had a little bit of fun doing it. Gustavo, your question. Hi, Bobby. Gustavo from Trial of the Force. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. I, everyone has been mentioning like your appearances in Bad Batch and Resistance, but I feel everyone has uh, forgotten about the live, st the live stage readings of uh, the <laughs> Naboo movie and the Camino Caper, which Thank I you think for bringing it up very are important. probably uh, as iconic as they are infamous. It's uh, the only place where I get cast as Darth Maul, uh, Django Fett. Yeah. And the third one's coming and uh, uh, there might be a certain villain in my... I'm sure. Uh, yeah. And I'm sure Sam would be building a costume. Park. Yeah. I might <laughs> are, be building a, <laughs> a costume involving a lot of pool noodles as we speak. <laughs> the expectations are high now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I guess that now my question has to do with obviously Jedi Bob. And one of the things that I think is overlooked is that because it's Lego, everyone's just like, oh, this is a very lighthearted adventure and all the characters are fun and quirky. But after watching uh, Rebuild the Galaxy, Jedi Bob is a tortured character. He went through so much drama of losing his world and trying to save this other one. And he also lost it and then trying to uh, get sick to you know, save the galaxy. So how do you balance a character that has suffered severe trauma, but then make it lighthearted and fun? I mean, I hate to say this, but that's a lot of people in life, right? That's a lot. There's a lot of people with stuff going on and they're just trying to make it through their day. You don't have to be a Jedi to do that. That That's that's everybody. Um, that being said, uh, I think it it I took it seriously. I took Jedi like that. Like I would go as far as saying like just one of the best acting roles I've ever gotten in my life. Like and it sounds silly because it's a Lego Star Wars thing, but 
It's not. I, I you know, I, I had a lot of uh, heavy lifting to do in that in that thing, literally. <laughs> and uh, it was it was fun to get to play to get to play a little serious, but also play goofy and make fun of Star Wars with Mark Hamill. Thank you, Victor. Your question. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Victor from Fandads. Um, you, you've kind of alluded to this a couple of times already with, with the Jedi Bob figure, but you're part of one of like the funniest Saturday Night Live skits making fun of Star Wars collectors. So, <laughs> that, so now that, that stuff is, was from my house. That, Downstairs. So now that, so now that you're going to have like, since you even said it, you have the official Jedi Bob Starfighter. How does it feel to, to have that Lego figure? And did you put it, are you going to put it in a case so no one can touch it after this? My daughter is home. One of my daughters is home. So I am here in front of a whiteboard. Uh, but I, otherwise, I would have been in my office downstairs. And it, I'm kind of glad because I'm a little embarrassed. I, I have, I mean, I have at least 50 or 60 Jedi Bob sets in my, <laughs> in my office downstairs, just ready to give out to anybody who wants them. Um, I also... I may have a bunch of different Jedi Bobs. I may have an Imperial Jedi Bob. I may have made a Christmas Jedi Bob. I may have made an X-Wing Jedi Bob. I have a lot of Jedi Bobs. <laughs> I have a great deal. Are those hot toys behind you, by the way? Yes, they are. These are uh, my Spider-Man. I am Yeah. yeah. Uh, call me later. And we'll, I'll, we'll, I'll tweet you. We'll show off rooms. <laughs> James, back to you. Brilliant. So... What was it like working with, you know, you mentioned Mark Hamill and obviously he must be, you know, somebody that you, you know, feel for in the same way that we all do, because we've grown up with the guy yeah. and he's part of our lives. So how was that for you? Um, it's it's not lost on me. I got to meet him a, a, a long time ago at a Star Wars event and he was so kind and I was taken aback. Um, I've gotten to meet a lot of famous people through SNL and stuff like that, but uh, he is someone who truly understands the gravity of the cat, like of who he is, he is Luke Skywalker, and it. Do I don't think it bothers him like other people. Like it's, he 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 is Luke, and uh, he he acts like it a little bit, and I, and I love it. I love him, but in this in particular, I can't believe as a Star Wars fan and as a comedian that I got to be in the Star Wars project where they let Mark Hamill just be great where they just let him be funny. And a lot of, I think a lot of his stuff is improvised. Like it's, it, it's great. It's he, he, he makes this thing for me and uh, forever, whenever I, for the rest of time, whenever I have two minutes where I don't have anything to do, I'm just going to go watch that cantina scene with me and Mark Hamill. That's what I will do for the rest of time. <laughs> not a bad thing to have. Also. Yeah, not a bad thing at all. Alex, your question talking about the fun of collecting star wars and lego star wars is 25 years old this year so mm -hmm. what are your memories of uh lego star wars uh back in that simpler time that the flashback alludes to uh, do you have a favorite set or minifigure i mean like the jedi bob when i have it and like i i i I, I can't believe it. It's so funny that just like this thing is now turned into to this thing. But I also recently, or re one of my favorite Lego sets is uh, the the one where they turn, or Darth Vader in the like, on the gurney? Like, <laughs> the, the, you know, the most horrible moment of his entire existence. <laughs> like there's a Lego set for it. And then it always... Uh, I feel bad a little bit for Darth Vader that that Lego set exists. I think it's rude for him. <laughs> it's like if somebody put your worst moment in a Lego set, I assume wouldn't be as fun. <laughs> Actually, it might make it better. Art, your question. All right, yeah, I ran because I got this too. I picked this up recently. So you know I'm a big fan of uh, Jedi Bob. So for me, my favorite, like my holy grail of like Star Wars uh collection is the i have a 1983 revenge of the jedi poster nice. and it was the one that like you flip open and talk about star wars and empire and you open it up and says now in production revenge of the jedi what's your go-to like hands down favorite star wars collectible that you have and i'm guessing you have a lot but what is your favorite yeah one? i mean like now i have my own jedi starfighter and i can't believe it like the lego stuff i can't believe but i think like i wish i was in my office i think the two things downstairs that like i go like that's pretty nuts um, I have uh, the Kylo Ren helmet that Adam Driver wore in the Matt, the radar technician sketch, and he signed it uh, 
uh, your to uh, love you to your friend Matt. Like uh, that is like just because that's that was a fun thing into the star. I also have I have the giant R two D two that we had in the other Star Wars sketch, the one where I was Boba Fett with the long hair. It was like the it was like the Guardians of the Galaxy and Star Wars. I don't even remember anymore. Um, but that R I have that R two D two, and now it's it's signed by like. J.J. Abrams, John Boyega, Daisy Ridley, all the people that came through SNL, they would, uh, anybody, they would just come in my dressing room and sign it. So I have that in my office. Like, that's just a a cool thing. I think, may, but, but now to answer your question, I think my Orca figure, maybe my, I had an Orca figure made and I think that might be it. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thanks. You had 80 minutes, right? I apologize. <laughs> All my question and answers are much longer than I expected. Sky Talkers. Hi, Bobby. I'm Caitlin, the other half of Sky Talkers. So great to talk to you today. Yeah. You mentioned you'd worked with writers Dan and Benji before. What was it like working with them on this project? Uh, it was the best. Yeah, I got like I got asked to go to Lucasfilm and help pitch jokes for the Star Wars. I think it was the Christmas special, the Lego Christmas special, and I was just over the moon because I. That's I mean. That's a job I'm equipped for, I thought. And uh, I met them there. And then when they were writing this, they thought of me and I, I, I can't believe it. They are, I'm a huge fan of There's Anyway. That Ninja Turtle movie is fantastic. The Pokemon, like they're just, they're, they're absolute geniuses uh, at this, at genres of IPs that people really, really love because they care about them as well. And uh, Benji is an a -fole. He is an adult fan of Lego. He is like, I've never met anybody like that. Like he is one of those guys that knows everything about it and, and they're great and they're really funny and they, they did a bang up job on this special. And I, I'm really lucky that they exist. <laughs> Ethan Kerwin. So our next question is, how did you put Jedi Bob and why would you think? I'm sorry. Can you say that one more time? How did you hear about Jedi Bob and why were you interested in playing the character? Um, I had heard about him just as like a fan of collecting weird Star Wars stuff. I I was like at a Walmart and saw like a miscarded figure, like it was a Luke Skywalker figure, but there was like a stormtrooper background. And I was like, what is this? I thought I found something crazy. And I started collecting weird Star Wars stuff and found out that there was this character that was just named Jedi that came out with this set and like that people online were nicknamed him Jedi Bob and that it had become very expensive to collect him now because not many people wanted it. And I thought that was just a, a fascinating story uh, as a fan of weird collecting stuff. And then one day I got a phone call from my friends who were like, do you want to play this weird character that you know? And I was like, yeah, yeah, no, that that's exactly what I want to do. Ryan, your question. You talked about Mark Hamill getting to do a lot of ad lib stuff. How much did you get to do on this? And is there any jokes? Are there any jokes that 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 you got to to do in the room that didn't make it that you wish had? Uh, of course. Um, yeah, th they wrote it so well that like this is I, I am an improviser. I love to improvise. I feel comfortable improvising but there is nothing better for me than a job where I instantly realize I don't have to flex that muscle as much as uh, I need to. Uh, they, they did such a fantastic job at writing this that I didn't need to improvise a lot, but of course it was Star Wars. I, I definitely tried to shoehorn in. I would all, every recording, I was like, well, I'm, you know, the, the, I got a bad feeling about this or <laughs> something. I, I just kept trying to shoehorn in myself to old Star Wars stuff. And I got a couple in. Um, but one that I remember, I definitely uh, uh, improvised at one point, uh, I think to Mark Hamill, that uh, I was in Max Rebo's band, that I played saxophone in Max Rebo's band many years ago, and that I got kicked out for stealing. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why, I just thought that was funny. And they were like, yeah, we're not going to use that. We're not going to do that. <laughs> I was like, got it. Okay. Um, there, there's a few. I, 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 it's funny, you're, uh, or somebody here is from... Re Re revenge of the sith or no no full, of, full, sith? Of, sith. full, full of, sith. of sith i think we did that joke in this is it still in it or we definitely recorded that joke and we're like we wonder if we could get away with this 
I said, oh, Sig, you're full of Sith or something like that. <laughs> and uh, uh, I thought maybe we got away with it, but maybe not. I, I don't recall that. I would have noticed that one. I, I feel think. like I feel like you would have. Yeah, that's what when you said it, I was like, is it in still in there? No, but we definitely tried it. <laughs> but that was the cool All thing right. about this whole project was like it was that it was the first I felt like it was the first time where it was like, you know what? We're going to have fun and make fun of Star Wars a little bit and this whole universe. All right, guys, that's all the time we have. Thanks so much for your questions. Uh, say your goodbyes to Bobby. Uh, show him your Legos. That rocks. Uh, and uh, head on out. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thanks Thank so you much. so much. Thank you. Have a great day.